In alphabetical order, the first of the six candidates to fill Sheriff Corey Fall's seat in Jackson County is William Froelich. Froelich tells me he spent more than 30 years with the West Valley City Police Department in Utah, earning the position of lieutenant and serving as a watch commander before retiring in 2008. Sheriff's Deputy Ian Lance has served at several different levels of the Jackson County Sheriff's Office for the last 14 years, including search and rescue and as a detective. Before that, Deputy Lance earned a law degree at Willamette University and pursued a career as an attorney with the City of Medford. JCSO Captain Dan Penland currently heads the Corrections Bureau of the Sheriff's Office, which includes the Jackson County Jail. Captain Penland recently oversaw a much-needed $2.7 million expansion of the jail, which made room for 24 new inmates. Former Sheriff's Lieutenant Bob Sergi has been in law enforcement for 35 years. According to Sergi, he served as jail commander, SWAT commander, and patrol commander. Sergi ran for the Sheriff's position against Corey Falls and former Sheriff Mike Winters in 2014. Current Jackson County Sheriff's Captain Nate Sickler serves as the Operations Bureau Commander. The Operations Bureau oversees traffic, SWAT, and patrol duties. Sickler has also served as a detective for JCSO. And former Sheriff Mike Winters was elected in 2002. During his time, Winters oversaw the expansion of the Jackson County Jail and the Sheriff's Department's move to its current location on Crater Lake Highway. Winters lost his seat as Sheriff to Corey Falls in November of 2014. And NBC5 News has obtained the applications from all six candidates from Jackson County. We'll have an in-depth look at the sheriff's candidates' qualifications on our website, kobi5.com, before Jackson County commissioners make their decision early next year. In studio, Matt Jordan, NBC5 News.